What the heck, man? Like, I, I, I thought this was all figured out, okay? We, we worked over Hambletoni and we figured out who was going to win, and now it's, it, everything seems like it's falling. Actually, everything's okay. Everything is hunky dory. Just, uh, I'm, I'm gonna head this way uh, for a second. No, 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 no. You, I, I, it'll just be, be me going over here. You can, you can wait for me uh, to come back. Is that okay? Okay. Uh, I'm just gonna. Why? God, for free. He was supposed to win. And now no one's gonna win. Somebody has to win. had it all figured out I was able to just go and relax but no the moment that I have to step away is when all of a sudden everything has to get fixed and settled okay all right no it's it's fine very, very clearly oh this Hamiltonian we we have we have it all together we know uh, someone's gonna win um uh, there's just uh there, there, there's a couple loose ends that we have to figure out here first I thought we had things settled here with oh well, and uh, oh well, we lost. And now it's this real big competitive thing, like I was saying, it also could be. At the same time, it, it, it looks so straightforward, but for a million dollar race, I, there are a lot of lines that we can draw to figure it out. A lot of lines. All right, so let's start by talking about Oh Well, who we thought was going to win uh, in the eliminations. He's trained by a guy named Marcus Melander, who has not won a Hambletonian. And that will make a guy kind of look something like this. And he really does kind of look like, I mean, look at how uncanny the side-by-side -side comparison is here. That's a pretty good depiction. He's a young guy, though, too. And for a young guy, he's had a couple of tries. 2019, he was second with the favorite in the race, Green Shoe, and then in 2022, last year, he was second with the Philly Joviality. Uh, those kinds of finishes a bit taunting to a guy whose Uncle Tarzan has already won this race. <laughs> 
wins. Oh well didn't win his elimination. Oh well was second because Point of Perfect beat Oh well. Point of Perfect, a 16 to 1 winner in his elimination, who last year was an 0 for 15 two year old. He's trained by Ron Burke, who is the winningest trainer in harness racing history. Despite that, he has never won a Hambletonian. Are you following here? That might sound kind of familiar to some of you thoroughbredville folks. That wasn't Ron Burke's only elimination winner, though. He won the other elimination with... Celebrity Bambino, morning line favorite. He was a good two-year-old. Such a good two-year-old that uh, races he won include, uh, honestly, I, I don't really know. Um, <laughs> he was second in the Breeders' Crown, and he was scratched after winning his elimination for the Peter Houghton Memorial because, well, let, let the diagram below speak for itself. Uh, oh, he was, oh, he was throwing up there. Oh, and he was blowing chunks too. That's, that, that's, that's not good, especially because horses cannot throw up. So. An even bigger rebound for this guy, who in his three-year-old season has blossomed to the point that he won his Hambletonian elimination in 150 and four, and was Yannick Gingras' choice to drive. Now, who is Yannick Gingras? Yannick Gingras is a 2022 Hall of Fame inductee, and he has won pretty much every single race there is to win in harness racing, including. Oh, oh! I, I can't read this. Can we? Can we get this flipped around for a second? Oh, he's won no Hambo. So now here's Yannick Gingra driving a Ron Burke trainee. Ron Burke, believe it or not, won the Hambletonian in 2017. With what the hell? What the hell is? I just said he didn't win the Hambletonian. He didn't after 10 minutes. What the hell became the only first place disqualification in the race's history and came just after Ron Burke was in the throes of the Hambletonian Trophy, finishing second in 2015 with Mission Brief and in 2016 with the favorite Southwind Frank. Now, who drove Mission Brief and Southwind Frank in those finals? Uh, it, it was it was Yannick. I'm pointing. That's it, him. He did it. Yannick did it. Yannick Gingra trying for his first Hambletonian. And you know Yannick Gingra is Canadian. Oh wait, no. I, I, I'm sorry. He's Canadian. And in this race, he has three other Canadians trying to foil his attempt at the trophy. Ghostly Casper, Osceola, Southwind Coors. Osceola qualified for the final in ring to Doug McNair. Southwind Coors to James McDonald and Ghostly Casper to David Miller. Except now David Miller is not driving Ghostly Casper. Brian Sears, multiple Hamiltonian winner, drives him because Dave Miller has picked up the drive on Point of Perfect. Oh, and this makes perfect sense. Such a combo might seem familiar because Dave Miller and Ron Burke teamed in the Hambletonian with what the hell? The horse whose disqualification placed perfect spirit as the winner of the 2017 Hambletonian, who trains Perfect Spirit. Well, that would be one Ox Fenstedt, who honestly, we don't really talk a lot about. He's already won Hambletonian, so he, we don't really care. Uh, but at the very least, he also won in 2021 uh, with Captain Corey, uh, who's named after the driver, Corey Callahan, uh, and he's never won a Hambletonian. So uh, I, there, there's that piece. And so here's Ox Fenstedt, the only trainer in this race to have won it before with a single horse. Up your dayo. Up your dayo. Hey, up your dayo. Up your dayo. Up your dayo. I don't even know who's yelling at me. All right. Uh. Yeah, this I this is making a lot of sense. Yeah, you know, I really think we're on to something here. Uh huh. Really.
figured out what's happening with this race. Although, I really didn't know what to do with the other three horses in this race, so I kind of just pitched them into the uh-oh zone. I mean, maybe they could do something from there. They just really didn't have any kind of connection with what was happening here. Um, although, I, I guess no one involved with any of them is one of Hambletonian. Um, so there's that. Um, yeah. I, I, I think we're on to something here. Somebody has to win this race. Maybe I was all wrong trying to be exact about who's gonna win this race. A anyone can win. And you know, maybe that's the thrill of having a race like the Hambletonian. Everyone wants to be in it, and this time, everybody can win it. Uh, sometimes certainties might not be good, and the uncertainty in this case, the best certainty we have. And certainly, it stands to be an exciting race where somebody is gonna win. <clears throat> That's all I got. You expecting something else to happen here? No. Uh, uh, that's all. You're still watching. Um, I'll just, uh, I'm gonna go this way. Uh, take care, have fun, okay?